welcome to vlogmas day 12 i did in fact wake up with a massive spot on the side of my face and a bit of a croaky voice by the sounds of it so the first thing i've done this morning as you might be able to tell is stick on a face mask i've put on um the glam glow which one is it um i've put on the glam glow super mud clearing treatment because for me this is the one that i reach for in dire emergencies and today was one of those emergencies I'm going out with my friends later um, after having quite a chill day at home so I didn't want to have horrendous um, spots all over my face so yeah I'm gonna have a little mini pamper session this morning first um, while this is drying I've got a video exporting yesterday's or today yesterday's vlogmas um, so yeah it's only 8 30 and I've already edited a video got it exporting so feeling quite productive and also, um, when I've taken all this off, I want to show you some Christmas jumpers because Charlie and I are having a Christmas jumper party tomorrow and I've been buying quite a few different options for myself and for Charlie and for Dexter. So I'm excited to show you those. I don't know what's happened to my voice, it's gone all croaky. Mm. While it's drying, I thought I'd show you the giveaway prizes for today because I just don't think I can wait any longer to show you them. As you guys might know, I've been doing a 12 days of Vlogmas, so um, <laughs> it's really funny seeing it's starting to dry. You can see like the pores on my nose starting to come out. Ugh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been doing the 12 days of Vlogmas, which is basically a giveaway every day for the first 12 days. Hopefully you guys have entered a few of them. I know a few people have tweeted saying they're really happy with their prizes. I've been posting them all out. Um, so yeah, pretty much daily trips to the post office. I pretty much know them all by first name terms now, which is lovely. But today's giveaway is by far the biggest and the best and the most valuable and full of so many amazing pieces so I'm just gonna get right stuck in there and show you what it is dun, dun, dun. so this is a ginormous box of amazingness and as you can see already there's some beautiful things inside so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the different pieces first of all you're gonna get a little personalized makeup pouch from Apache London this is obviously my initials JF but I'm gonna ask you what your initials are and you're gonna get your very own initials in a beautiful little makeup pouch. Everything personalized is lovely, so that's gorgeous. And you've got a little makeup set from Marks and Spencers Limited. You've got a little eyeshadow quad, mascara, some liners in there. You've also got a nourishing body oil. This is from Anne Simonon, the Spanish brand, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and this is just the most incredible product. It feels so silky on skin and beautifully nourishing as well. I'm also putting in um, a limited edition to Selfridges BKR water bottle. These just seem to be like the cool water bottle these days. They're glass, um, so very like hygienic, and yeah, it's just a lovely brand. I thought this one was really beautiful, so I've got you that one from Selfridges. Also in there, I'm sticking in a Christmas jumper because, you know, we're getting to Christmas jumper time. This one is from Bon Prix, or Bon Prix, however you like to say it. And it's lovely kind of grey um, with the pink and orange fair owl print at the top. So you've got a lovely festive jumper. Then I'm sticking in a Zoeva blush. Another Diva Miss Selfridge ring, size medium with some little crystals on it. A milk foaming cleanser from Ole Henriksen. This brand is one of my faves for cleansers. And this is a really lovely um, way to try it out, a little travel sized one. And now we're getting to the two big amazing prizes you will be getting. Not this one, because this is actually mine, because I haven't picked up your one from the post office yet, but you're getting the exact same one. Um, this is a limited edition, 30 years of L'Oreal Colour Riche lipsticks, and if I can get into it, you might have seen this in my makeup collection video. But inside, you have the best of the bunch from all of the L'Oreal Colour Riche lipsticks. So you've got the beautiful pinks and reds and nudes like not all not the full range but these are kind of like the most popular ones so they're all full size how many have you got now one two three four five six seven eight one eight is eight two eight sixteen twenty four so you've got twenty four absolutely beautiful lipsticks and they're all just you know the most gorgeous shades can't get it open but yeah you're going to be getting one of these limited edition boxes you can't even buy them they're only from l'oreal so you're going to love that i'm sure and finally, and this is the best of the whole bunch, you're going to be receiving a full Monty Magnetone. So you guys know how much I love my Magnetone. I'm about to use my one in a second to take off this face mask and cleanse. But this isn't just any facial cleansing brush. This one has the actual brush which you do your cleanser with or take face masks off with or just a general face cleansing. And it has five different settings. So depending on if you really want to exfoliate or just 
pay attention to one particular area. Um, but it also has a body brush, so this one means you can do like your thighs or your bum, it's really good for circulation. And also this little metal pad, which is amazing for giving yourself um, a pedicure. So this is the best of the bunch, the top prize. This is definitely the best giveaway out of all of the giveaways of the 12 Days of Vlogmas. I hope you guys have enjoyed taking part in 12 Days of Vlogmas. Thank you so much to everybody who has already taken part. And to win this one, I'm going to be doing a raffle copter over on my blog. So head over to fashionmumbler.com for all the details and good luck. Just made myself a nice red currant lem sip to try and help my throat. It's not too bad, but I don't want it to get any worse. I thought I'd have a lem sip um, just to hopefully nip it in the bud. My face mask is looking pretty dry now. Apart from this eyebrow, weirdly hasn't dried. I love how it, you can literally see the areas where it goes into the pores. Ew. Um, but yeah, it's so gonna take that off now. I'm going to use my magnetone. You will have yours soon, whoever wins the competition. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use some hot water in the sink and use this to take it off. I find that this just really helps to just really vibrate the skin even more so it just pulls any dirt out of the skin. So always love to take off any kind of face mask with a magnetone and then I'll probably cleanse with this afterwards as well. So a bit of a pamper morning. is off and now I'm going to use um, the magnetone again but with my Liz L cleansing polish partially to finish cleansing my face but, but also to clean my magnetone because whenever I use a clay mask it always ends up a little bit grey so yeah hopefully the cleansing polish will get rid of that it normally does Okay, so my skin is looking and feeling very clean after my little pamper session. My skin, it's just seriously like been buffed within an inch of its life. I've double cleansed both times with the Magnetone, so yeah, feeling very smooth. Um, now I'm gonna put on an Origins eye cream. This is the Eye Doctor, I think. Yeah, Eye Doctor, which is really moisturizing for the under eye area. Um, and then I'm gonna put on this, which is the Ren Instant Firming Beauty Shot. I haven't used this in quite a while, but I remember it feels really nice on just face masked skin. And then after that sunk in for a few moments, I'm gonna put on my most luxurious moisturizer, which is Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and let that sink in for about 20 minutes before I do anything else with my face. Woo. Okay, so I thought to make my life a bit easier for the Christmas jumper haul, I would just leave my camera on a tripod um, and sit down and show you instead of, um, you know, holding the camera. So, I have been buying stuff from ASOS and a couple of Boohoo orders as well. And yeah, I just thought I would show you what I got um, Christmas jumper wise. Because as I said, Charlie and I are having a Christmas jumper party tomorrow and we want to look really festive. So, I'll start with the ones which I've already unwrapped. This one actually, um, you've probably already seen me in. This was actually sent to me by Dorothy Perkins and it says express your elf and I really like this one I might actually put it on in a minute um, but yeah this is from Dorothy Perkins really like that one apparently Dorothy Perkins also have one with a dachshund on it but it's a blonde dachshund and not brown like my little boy so probably not too too right for me then I made a big ASOS order I've already taken some of these out of the box and put them on the hanger Firstly, this one, which is like a cream knit, and it's got this kind of embroidered Christmas tree on it. I think, I actually, maybe this one is my favourite so far. But, um, yeah, I just thought that was really lovely. Embroidered, um, looks quite Swedish. And it's got little Christmas trees on the sleeves as well, so I really like that one. And then, also from ASOS, this is another lovely one. This is just cream, kind of felty material with gold snowflakes. This is probably the most fashionable of all of them. I'm not sure how I feel about the felt texture though. It's quite, um, I don't know, it feels a little bit cheap. I'm not sure how this will hang, so I'm going to give that one a try in a second. This one actually looks like a boy's Christmas jumper, um, but it's more of a very traditional kind of, I'd call this like a vintage ski style jumper. So you've got the fair isle print and the reindeers. It looks like a granddad jumper. I'm not sure that will suit me, but I thought I'd get it just to give it a go. 
This one is really lovely. You can tell I've just gone really crazy here. I just wanted loads of options. I am going to send half of these back, so let me know which ones you guys like. Um, yeah, so this is also quite a traditional one, similar to my Jack Wills one I wore a couple of days ago with just a detail around the neckline, but it's got little diamonds, diamante on the top. This is ASOS own brand and a nice really thick knit, so that's a lovely one and I like the high neckline on that as well. And then we have another quite traditional one from ASOS, this again has got like the ski pattern on it, so a really good one for actually taking skiing. I'm not going skiing this winter, at least so far, um, not that I'm aware of, but if I did have a ski holiday planned, I'd definitely take this one. It's got a really high neck as well, which I really like. I know the lighting's going really crazy, but I can't be bothered to sort it out just for, just for this little snippet. Um, but yeah, I really like that one. I don't historically suit navy that well so we'll give that a go and then I have a load from Boohoo I have a his and hers red jumper so I'll just get out the ladies version um, probably this one so I thought I'd get me and Charlie matching ones and I also wanted to get a matching one for Dexter as well so from Boohoo I got a his and hers red barrel Christmas jumper, also got one for Dexter which I'll show you in a minute. So it's just this plain red with a little reindeer print on it um, and the boy one is exactly the same, it's quite high neck, really snuggly and cosy. I think this is quite a nice traditional one and this was really cheap, I think it was like around the £20 mark so it was a good, good value and nice and soft as well I find sometimes um, if they're too novelty they can be a little bit crispy but this one feels really nice I really like that one goes my lipstick um, but then so I wanted the dog jumper for this in red in navy um, but it was out of stock but then when I checked a couple of days ago it was in stock again the dog jumper so this is for Dexter this is his little navy um, fair Isle jumper which is just so cute he already has his Christmas pudding one which I think you guys saw in a couple of vlogs ago um, but yeah, I just thought that was absolutely adorable. It looks quite small and he's getting to be a big boy now, but it's pretty stretchy, so I'm going to try him in that in a second. I got a few more from Boohoo as well, um, just more for me to try. This is a really, like, a more unique colour. This is more of a burgundy. I really like the pattern on this one. You've got the big snowflakes and the reindeers. Quite traditional style. But I really like that one. I think it's quite a slim fit as well, so it could be quite a flattering option. And last but not least, I got a black one from Boohoo. I don't have a black Christmas jumper, so it would be nice to try and bring something a little bit different in. It's a really similar print with the snowflakes and the reindeer. Um, and yeah, I thought it was quite nice, traditional, but um, yeah, don't have a black, so I do now. So that's it for my Christmas jumpers. I'm afraid I don't really have time to try them on to show you because I have got so much work to do today. Um, so I'm gonna get cracking with my work and I think I'll probably vlog again when I'm getting ready to go out tonight for my surprise with my friends. So I'll see you later. Okay, so I've done my makeup and I used the Bare Minerals Chandle Light Glow, as I said I was going to, and I think it's come out pretty well. I really like the um, base product, which product, product, which I used, which is this one, and it's the medium beige, just a normal mineral foundation, but in this lovely little gold box, and I buffed that in with a buffing brush, and then I used my normal bronzer, the Hourglass, and a little bit of this, which is the Bare Minerals Luminous Pink Blush on the cheeks. It didn't come out that much though, it wasn't terribly strong so I put a little bit of highlight on top. And then on my eyelids I used the little um, eyeshadow pot which was in the set and this is their Nightfall Mineral Eyeshadow and as you can see it's bleh. and as you can see it's quite a dark kind of purpley brown which I really like and it's got quite a nice amount of shimmer in it as well. Um, then I put false eyelashes on from the Eyelure set and used the Lash Domination to kind of set the two together. I always use mascara after my um, false lashes because I find it just kind of binds the two together. And finally I used my Topshop Motel Lip Crayon and I put a little bit of Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream Lip Gloss on top and I have to say I haven't worn lip gloss since I was probably about 13 years old but actually 
think this is quite pretty. I am now all bundled up and ready to go. Really hope that we are doing what I think we're doing, because otherwise I may have dressed very wrong for the occasion. So I've got my little bobble hat on, the one which I got for my birthday, and then this lovely Oasis coat, um, Topshop jumper, Oasis trousers, and my old duo boots.